Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are here broadcasting live from the Brother Kevin Court here on the campus of Christopher Columbus High School in Westchester, Florida. I'm Mario Perez. I'll be broadcasting this game along with my partner, Tito Benaj. Tito, what have we got in store for us? Oh, Mario, today's going to be a great game between two district matchups, Columbus and South Miami. It's going to be a field with a lot of competition. You know, the last couple of years, this game has become pretty close between each other. Um, uh, South Miami has actually a couple Columbus transfers, and they also have a big-time player in their center, Octavia Simmons, who's actually committed to uh, Virginia Commonwealth University. So it's going to be a great matchup. Absolutely. Now, why don't, uh, Tito, why don't you give me a few of your players to watch for in this game? Oh, uh, well, obviously from the South Miami side, I just mentioned him. It's uh, Octavia Simmons, the center. Also an eye, a guy to keep an eye out for Columbus is uh, Danny Rico, senior leader. Uh, he's a two-time varsity starter and especially point guard Johnny Minervino. Absolutely. I think another thing that we need to consider going into this game is that the Columbus Explorers are missing a huge part of their offense in Marquise Clark, who expects to be back within a week, but obviously they're, they're missing a huge uh, cog in their offense for a huge game like this. Uh, what do you think about Marquise being oh, out? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Marquise is a major contributor to the offense and unfortunately had to go down with appendicitis, uh, but hopefully he'll be back soon. Uh, but I think that the Columbus Explorers can uh, continue on without him. Yeah, the Mar Marquise, by the way, before the game, gave me his Instagram handle, and he wanted me to share it with the people. It's Marquise Clark 11. Um, he made me promise I'd say that on air. Anyways, so we uh, the last game that we broadcast was last week, and we saw in that game a great uh, example of what the Explorers are capable of doing. And so we'll, I think that a big thing here is whether or not they can continue that momentum and keep it going. And so, Tito, we're going to start you off here with Around the Horn on the Columbus Explorers starting lineup. We'll take you Around the Horn with uh, Danny Rico and Chris Melendez and then Kevin O'Brien, Sheldon Durant and Johnny Minervino. And the Columbus head coach is Henry Lorenzo. And now Around the Horn for the South Miami Cobras. We have Bartley and Credit, then Simmons, Perez, Laham, and Chavez. And the head coach is Robert Doctor. So we've got a great game here of uh, FHSAA basketball. And it's still early on in the season, so we really don't have a good indication of how the Columbus Explorers are going to be on the season. But uh, what, what has your been, impression been of this team watching them so far? Well, so far the Columbus Explorers team is just the one that, the word I can look for them is just scrappy. You know, This team can fight. They can continue. They they played in a lot of close games so far, and the, and the two games they played have been pretty close, and they come out victorious. Um, they're a very, very fast-paced team. They like to get the ball moving, so I would say scrappy. They're a very hard-fighting team. I agree, and also, like you were saying earlier, a lot of Columbus transfers now on this South Miami team. I can see Joseph Lopez is one of them, Michael Lobu, another one, and uh, Daniel Ricondo. So a lot of guys may be coming here wanting to show their old team what they're capable of because... Uh, that's what that's normally what you want to do. So let's see how the Explorers handle that. This is historically this has been a high emotion game between these two teams, a big rivalry, and it's growing every year. You know, eventually we might see this basketball rivalry grow into what the Belen rivalry is because it's very heated and very passionate, and I think that's a good thing in the in the modern sportscape in high school sports. Absolutely. And so with that. We're going to take you to a uh, the first commercial break of this broadcast, followed by some high school basketball. Another great deal right here at Toyota of South Florida in Doral. This week only, it's the Abuela Edition Camry. The Abuela Edition comes with a mojo recipe and a bottle of Big Spaparu. And this Abuela for free. Hola. And if you get the Abuela package with GPS, she'll even give you directions. Okay, on second thought, maybe we'll just stick to great deals. Come in this week to Toyota of South Florida in Doral. Great cars, great prices. Y tremenda gente.
Baseball World offers a wide variety of gloves and has one of the largest selections of pants in South Florida. With all your sizes, come check out Baseball World's selection. Baseball World also carries your favorite sports team's hats. We also sell major brand name shoes including Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas. Baseball World is located on 9590 Southwest 40th Street. Or call them at 305-554-7488. Check out Baseball World. Mr. Linsky here at Duffy's Tavern, where the elite meet to eat. What I love about Duffy's is you never know who you're going to run into. Hey, on a given my day. Man. Hey, buddy. I love the ambiance, I love the atmosphere, I love the food, but mostly I love the people. Because at any given moment when you walk in this place, half the people here are Columbus alumni. So you all come back now and answer Wayne to pain. The Florida Motorcycle Training of North Dade provides an 18-hour basic course designed to teach beginning and novice motorcyclists the physical and mental skills necessary to ride safely on the street. The course teaches basic motorcycle operation, effective braking techniques, turning skills, and obstacle avoidance maneuvers. The course includes 8 hours of classroom instruction and approximately 10 hours of on-cycle instruction. Insurance, motorcycle, helmet, and student workbooks are provided for the course. If you are interested in applying, call 305 today. It's another great deal right here at Toyota of South Florida in Doral. This week only, it's the Abuela Edition Camry. The Abuela Edition comes with a mojo recipe and a bottle of Big Spaparu. And this Abuela for free. Hola! And if you get the Abuela package with GPS, she'll even give you directions. Okay, on second thought, maybe we'll just stick to great deals. Come in this week to Toyota of South Florida in Doral. Great cars, great prices. And welcome back. We are just about two minutes away from game time. And Tito, I think that something that's worth mentioning is, is that the Explorers basketball team, they got two big players back. They got Cody Figueredo and Victor Gutierrez. They're both juniors and they're back in this game, both coming off of injuries. Also, yeah, that's a great point. Also, I just want to focus in on, again, on Trevia Simmons. You know, three-star rated by rivals on, in basketball. Number one prospect in Dade County. Uh, committed to Virginia Commonwealth University, as stated before. You know, he's probably one of the better centers in Florida. Uh, very mobile, uses the body well. Very, very physical. So it's going to be interesting to see how Columbus deals with him today. Absolutely. I think it's a good indicator of his level of skill that uh, VCU, the university that he's committed to, has made it consistently to the uh, final four of the NCAA tournament the past few years. I think that's a pretty good indicator right there of the level of skill that the Explorers are going to have to face, but they faced that before. A few years ago, they faced Austin Rivers, and he's as good as, as anyone is, so they're just going to have to buckle down and get ready for some a very good degree of football, and they're just going to have to match that level. So ladies and gentlemen, we're about a minute away from game time here at the Brother Kevin Court in the Columbus gym, and uh, as we expected before this game, Tito, big crowds on both sides. You know, we knew that was this was going to be a high emotion game. What do you think we've got in store for us after tip off? Oh, absolutely. You know, both crowds are in this game, and they're both going to be very, very loud. That's one thing that's going to be for certain. Uh, a lot of chanting, a lot of a lot of things are going to be said. But you know what? It's, at the end of the day, we hope for a great game, and uh, it's gonna, it's just going to be interesting to watch. Absolutely. We ho we hope that that passion stays on the court in the form of great play of basketball, and we hope that we that there's a a good outing and and they exhibit good basketball right here. And I'd like to mention before our broadcast that the Total Bank fan of the game is Bombillo. He's here tonight, and he's a Total Bank fan of the game, as he always is. Bombillo.
So there you have it, folks, a rendition of the national anthem right before tip-off of this game. And we are set now for tip-off between the Columbus Explorers and the South Miami Cobras. Right now we're expecting an exhibition of good baseball in what has been a heated rivalry. So as the players' starting lineups are announced now, we'll take you to another commercial break with tip-off set to come to soon. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The starting lineups for the Explorers are being called. And so there they go with their usual pre-game routine, getting pumped up and getting all emotional before the start of this game. And we're set now for tip-off between these two teams. It begins now. I think a huge player to watch for in this game, Tito, that we haven't mentioned is the junior guard, number 23, Sheldon Durant. He, he's, he was called on to step in and fill the shoes of Marquise Clark in his absence, and so now we're going to see how he handles it. He was meant to be the sixth man before the season, but now he's had to step in at the starting role. So let's take a look at how he handles it, Tito. And there we go, we're set with tip off and the ball in the hands now of number 20, of number two, Jimmy Chavez, passed it to number zero, Jorge Perez Laham. Back in Chavez's hands, Chavez passed the ball off to number four, Patrick Barkley. Barkley driving, the rebound recovered by, the ball was tipped out of bounds. Tipped out of bounds by number four for the Cobras, Ketrick Barkley. Now the ball in the hands of Columbus's number five, Johnny Minervino. Minervino passing the ball now to Chris Melendez. Melendez over to number 20, Danny Rico. Rico driving, he goes up, puts one up, and it misses, recovered by the Cobras. Now Perez Laham with the ball for the Cobras, passes it off into the hands of number 11, John Craddock. Back over to Bartley, back to Kravit. Kravit from the perimeter passes it to Bartley. And that ball on the floor and into the hands of Johnny Minervino. Minervino passes it up the court and that Sheldon Durant down the aisle throws it to Kevin O'Brien with the three. Oh, just off and they're fighting for the ball and it's a jump ball and the Explorers will hold on to the ball with Minervino inbounding and that pass is intercepted and oh it's missed That rebound there recovered by Kevin O'Brien for the Explorers. He passes it to Johnny Minervino. Minervino with the ball to Don. Rico. Danny Rico. Rico for three. He misses the trifecta and recovered by the Cobras. Now the ball in the hands of zero Jorge Perez Leham. Perez Leham covered by Sheldon Durant. Passes it off to number 11, John Craddit. Craddit covered by Danny Rico. Shoots for three. Misses, recovered by Johnny Minervino. Minervino, crossing court. Now number five to number 20, Danny Rico over to Sheldon Durant. Sheldon Durant on the perimeter, back over to Rico. Rico passes it to Johnny Minervino, number five, the senior. 
And he's driving, passes it off to Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien for three, misses. Now the ball with the Cobras, number 11, John Craddit. Craddit crossing the court, examining, passing the ball over to number zero, Jorge Perez Laham. Laham up, missed, recovered by Danny Rico. Passes it off to Johnny Minervino. Minervino going down. Minervino driving through. And the call there was that he stepped out of bounds, Tito. So, very intense action so far, but no score to show for him. Uh, absolutely, both teams are fighting very hard, you can imagine. We've seen a lot of hustle, a lot of running. Absolutely. And so now the ball will be thrown in and into the hands of Johnny Minervino. Minervino throws it up and it's good for the first two points of the game. The Columbus Explorers are on the board. The score 2-0 with five minutes left in the game. And now the Cobras with the ball crossing the court is number 11, John Credit. Now back over to Credit. Credit from three point range. He is passing the ball off and that over to 32 and Travius Simmons. The call is that he stepped out of bounds there, right, Tito? Absolutely. You can see, obviously, the South Miami is going to attack with Antravius Simmons quickly. They want to get the ball down low to him so he can take advantage of that size he has. Indeed, and the ball will be thrown in now by number 23, Trayvon Barney. Barney over to Antravius. Antravius missed the shot, though. And now Danny Rico has the ball for the Explorers. Passes to Johnny Minervino. Minervino to Durant. Durant driving, covered. And there it is, Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien puts it up, and that is good and for the good. second score of the Columbus Explorers. Now four to zero. And now Trayvon Barney with the ball. He's driving through, puts up the layup, and that misses. Barney still with the ball. He recovered. One thing we can know early in this game, Mario, is that rebounds are going to be very, very important. The Explorers putting hard pressure on the ball now. Double team there, but it wasn't good enough to prevent the score. And now the South Miami Corbos are on the board for the first time this game. Second chance points. Second chance points is going to be very important in this game. Absolutely. If you rebound, you will win this game. You can't give excessive chances. Sheldon Durant now with the ball. Passes Johnny Minervino. Minervino going through. Throws it up, and that's good. Minervino making the score line now a four-point lead for the Explorers. Early in the game. Now the Corbels with the ball. Barney examining, covered. Pass it off to Antravius. Antravius to number three, Michael Labou. Labou for three, misses. Now Danny Rico, he's only got one man in front of him. Pass it, Kevin O'Brien. Oh. O'Brien misses the dunk though. That was a silly mistake there going for the dunk. And now number 11, he throws it up and it misses. He was attempting a three there, but it was rebounded by Danny Rico. Off to Johnny Minervino. Minervino covered by Michael Labou. Throws it up and it's no good. And now the ball in the hands of number four, Ketrick Bartley. Bartley passing the ball to Trayvon Barney. Number 23, the sophomore. Barney covered by Sheldon Durant. Passes it off to number 11, John Crated, the senior. Now the ball in the hands of number four, Ketrick Bartley. Bartley driving, oh. and that'll be an offensive foul. The foul number four with a charge. Lady. I, think, I think that for the majority of this game, we're going to be hearing a lot of loud, uh, a lot of loud talking from the Columbus student section. They're famous for that. They call them the Columbus Crazies. Columbus Crazies, led by one of our favorite fans, Chance Fernandez. Chance Fernandez, when Bombillo doesn't show up, is normally the total bank fan of the game. Now with the ball is David Diaz, number 10, the junior in. Just to know, Explore fans, Matt Usoria has checked into the game for Kevin O'Brien. Matt Sawyer, the big man. Sheldon Durant for two, and he makes it. A good jump shot there. And so now the Explorers have jumped off to an early six-point lead in this game. Now the ball in the hands of Barney. Off to number 11, Crated, who passes it. And that is no good for the three. Sheldon Durant now, running down the court. 
Sheldon Durant passes it off to Chris Melendez. And now that was David Diaz, but he misses the three. And S Simmons with the rebound there, you know, using his size once again. Rebounding is going to be huge in this game because those second chances are killer for whoever gives them up. The pressure being put on now by Chris Melendez and Sheldon Durant, but there's a hole left in the backfield, in the backcourt. Obviously the Explorer fans not liking some of these transfers that went over to South Miami. Absolutely. The foul there was by Chris Melendez, the junior forward, and that was good for three points by number zero, Jorge Perez Laham, the 6'1 senior point guard. David Diaz now with the ball. Pass it off to Danny Rico. Rico off to, back to Diaz. It was a little give and go. Took him a while. And now Diaz running past Barney. Pass the ball to Danny Rico. Rico over to Sawyer. Sawyer though, he misses the two. And the pass was to 11, Crated. Crated to 23, Barney. Barney off to zero, Laham, Laham shot it for three, didn't make it, and Antravius with the ball now. Antravius Simmons using his size there once again. That foul is on Matthew Sawyer. That will be Matt Sawyer's first foul of the game. And Antravia Simmons now, the famous prospect from Miami with his first shot, and it is good. So now the lead for the Explorers, only two points, narrowing quickly. There it is, and it's good again. I've seen, I think, Tito, that we've seen exactly what Antravia Simmons is capable of doing in this game so far. He's used his height to his advantage. There, David oh. Diaz with the ball. Tremendous David Diaz passes there. the ball now to Michael Cortino, number four, who's in the game. Back to David Diaz. And David Diaz over to Michael Cortina. Cortina, number four, the senior, with the ball. Cortina's driving, puts up the layup, but he's swatted. Swatted by Joseph Lopez, the former explorer. Jo Joseph Lopez there using his height to absolutely swat and reject Michael Cortina. And now number 11 with the ball, John Crated. South Miami quickly taking advantage of their size here. You notice on the block they swatted him and also driving in and drawing the foul here. That foul's on Daniel Rico, senior. And that'll be Rico's first foul for the game. And that is good and that will tie up the game now. The score is eight to eight. The Columbus Explorers and South Miami Cobras all tied up. At the line now, shooting is number 11, the senior, John Crated. Crated is a shooting guard and small forward. And that's good to put them up by one point. The ball now in the hands of David Diaz, directing a few plays. Diaz off to Cortina, Cortina driving through. The ball leaves his hands, but it's recovered by David Diaz. Now the ball with Sawyer. Matt Sawyer passes it off to Cody Figueredo, who gave it to Michael Cortina. Missed the three there and recovered by the Cobras. Now the ball with John Crated. And so, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter of play here from the brother Kevin Court, the score is 8-9. to nine. The South Miami Cobras having their first lead of the night. We will see you soon, folks. Baseball World offers a wide variety of gloves and has one of the largest selections of pants in South Florida. With all your sizes, come check out Baseball World selection. Baseball World also carries your favorite sports team's hats. We also sell major brand name shoes including Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas. Baseball World is located on 9590 Southwest 40th Street. Or call them at 
554-754-7488. Check out Baseball World. Welcome back, folks. We're set here for some second quarter basketball action. Tito, what do you think of the first quarter? Well, one thing we noticed from the South Miami Cobras is that they are using their size quickly, you know, going down low to Simmons, trying to get fouls and whatnot. And then for the Explorers, they're trying to keep a high-tempo type of game, getting steals, turnovers, and trying to convert them into points as fast as possible. And now with the ball is number zero, Laham. Laham puts it up, but he misses the shot from the perimeter. Now Johnny Minervino with the ball. Minervino from the perimeter. He's directing uh, Danny Rico. Passes it off though to Chris Melendez, number three. Now Sheldon Durant with the ball from the perimeter, number 23. The junior passes it to Danny Rico. Rico throwing it up. And so here and Travia Simmons. Misses a simple layup there and recovered by the Explorers. Number three, Chris Melendez. Melendez still with the ball. He bobbled it a little bit, but was able to recover. And he passes it off. And then another pass over to Sheldon Durant. Durant putting up the layup and it is good. And that's good to put the Explorers up by one point. Now a tussle on the side of the court. Kevin O'Brien going down. But he gets back up quickly, and now the ball is in the hands of number 11, John Crated. Could you move a little bit? The foul there was by Kevin O'Brien. He'll be leaving the game now, and coming in will be Matt Sawyer. But going to the line is number four, Ketrick Bartley, the senior forward. He's 6'4". Excuse me, he won't be going to the line. Throwing the ball in will be number 23, Trayvon Barney. And he throws it off to number four, Ketrick Bartley. Bartley back to Barney, and now the, hand, the ball in the hands of Antravia Simmons. Simmons using his height. And he recovers that rebound. You were very much right. They were able to score there because of Antravia Simmons' size and he, his ability to rebound the ball so efficiently. Rebounds now Johnny Minervino with the ball. Rebounds are going to be very, very, very key in this game. I can't stress exactly. it enough. The Explorers are attacking Simmons. And I, think, I believe that's two fouls for him now. Danny Rico drawing the foul. He'll go to the line for two. That'll be the first foul on the South Miami Cobras. The foul there with Antravia Simmons, the big man. The Explorers have four fouls. And so coming to the line will be Danny Rico, number 20. Rico, the ball up and goes through. And that will tie up the game at 11. A very close game. It's been back and forth. No one team has maintained the lead consistently. Absolutely. One of those Rico. high intensity games, high emotion. Rico Both now will have fighting. the opportunity to put the Explorers up by one, and he does. Joseph Lopez throwing the ball in to number 11, John Crated. Crated off to number zero, Laham. Laham driving, misses the layup, but the ball's recovered by Simmons. Simmons puts it up there. Johnny Minervino off to Danny Rico. Back to Minervino, Minervino. And the ball there was rebounded by the Cobras. The Cobras though, can't rebound the ball again. The ball touched out of bounds by number four, Patrick Bartley, the senior forward, and it was recovered by the Explorers. 
throwing it in was number 20, Danny Rico. Throws it to Johnny Minervino. Minervino now coming in. He's on the perimeter. Kevin Durant turns it over. The ball here now with the Cobras, lays it up and goes in. The score. One thing the Explorers have to key in on is turnovers. They have many, many turnovers and they have to count that out. That'll make the Cobra lead three points. Minervino. Now the Cobras with the ball, the layup is in and out and the f offensive foul there. Matt Sawyer doing a very good job of taking that, coming up to his feet. And now the ball with the Explorers. Just wanna throw this out there, Matthew Sawyer compares himself to a young Dirk Nowitzki. I can see that comparison very well. Matt Sawyer's got the height and sometimes he's got the skill. David Diaz now the junior calling a few plays, pass it to Chris Melendez, back to Danny Rico. Rico off to Melendez, Melendez number three, driving a little bit, back to Rico, Rico off the perimeter. And the foul there was on number three, Chris Melendez. That'll give the ball off to South Miami. Now the, with the ball is Jorge Perez Leham, the senior point guard. That was good for three. Good for three by John Credit, the senior shooting guard. South Miami beginning to gain momentum here, Mario. Perhaps it's on their side. Michael Cortina with the ball off to David Diaz. David Diaz for three, almost, but no good. Back. He rebounded the ball and he did a very good job there, Tito. Once again, I can't stress it enough, second chance points is gonna be the key to this game. Absolutely, when you rebound the ball, you have a second opportunity to score and then you can correct your mistakes. I think that's a very good job. Right now, the height advantage though falls with the Cobras with Antravius Simmons. Number zero there, Lay Layham. He missed the shot and now David Diaz with the ball. David Diaz passes it out to Melendez. Melendez threw it up, but it was no good. Recovered by the former explorer, Joseph Lopez. Losa, Lopez passing the ball to Perez Laham. Number zero, the senior. Now that was up for three, but it didn't go in. So it's no good. The score is still 18 to 14 in favor of the Cobras. A four point lead now for the Cobras as Chris Melendez has the ball for the explorers. Passes it off to Danny Rico. Rico going under the basket, passes it to Michael Cortina and then over to David Diaz. Diaz though swatted by Joseph Lopez, a former explorer. Chris Melendez number three with the ball off the perimeter, passes it and receives it back. He fakes, passes it off to number four, Michael Cortina. Cortina though loses the ball out of his hands but it's recovered by Matt Sawyer. Sawyer using his height, lays it up but no good. Recovered by Daniel Ricondo, also a former explorer. So they were able to rebound their Tito, but unfortunately for the Explorers, it was to Noahville. They were unable to score in the lead now for the Cobras, still by four points. One thing is the Cobras are certainly leading in blocks. That's three blocks. Michael Abu for his three on that play, but he doesn't score. Now Danny Rico with the ball. Matt Sawyer setting the pick. Rico up and miraculous, he gets the ball in. It'll be a three-point play. I don't know how he did that, Tito. That was an amazing play. He had the strength to throw that ball up and get it inside the brim. That was that was a hook shot there. It looked like he was throwing a grenade and it went in seamlessly. And so now he'll be he'll have the opportunity to get the three-point play. That'll be the second team foul there on the Cobras. At the line is Danny Rico with the opportunity to score another point for the Explorers, and he does. Absolutely. And that's in a timeout. timeout there called. And the Explorers have scored 16 points so far in this game. They've fouled five times. And there are two minutes and nine seconds left in this game. So very exciting uh, so far, Tito, in this game. 
What have you seen so far in this first half? Uh, one thing that I want to key in on is on the Explorers. Uh, I have a lot of turnovers that's leading to a lot of South Miami points. South Miami taking advantage of that. If the Explorers want a legitimate chance of winning this game, they're going to have to cut down on those. And Travius Simmons, he's got great stats so far, even though he's only scored four points. He has a shooting percentage of 100%. He's got only one rebound and one foul, and he has four defensive rebounds there, right there, very much exhibiting why he has that height and why he's so, uh, you know, seeked out by different colleges because he's got the height and he'll get the ball for you every time on defense. Four defensive rebounds, a good Ab job. Absolutely. And now the Cobras with the ball. Barney running down the court. He's got two men on him, but he's maintained possession. Sheldon Durant covering him now. Number 23, the junior, passes the... Joseph Lopez, a former explorer with the easy layup using his height over number 44 for the explorers. That right there was Joey Rodriguez. David Diaz with the ball, number 10. Michael Cortina, number four, with the ball. Passes it off to Danny Rico, number 20. With the ball now, David Diaz, number 10. Off to Sheldon Durant, number 23. Danny Rico, number 20, off the perimeter. Driving very well. Looking to pass the ball, but that was a double dribble. With the ball now is number 23, Trayvon Barney. Passes it off, though, to John Credit, number 11. Credit for three. Misses. Air ball. But recovered by Joseph Lopez. Joseph, what were you talking about earlier, Tio? So rebounds. Rebounds. Cannot stress it enough. Joseph Lopez coming in. I think that's two, four straight points for him. Absolutely. Joseph Lopez. Right now, the Explorers feeling the sting of losing him. The ball now with David Diaz. Off to Michael Cortina, number four. The senior. Passes the ball. Sheldon Durant, Sheldon Durant running around the perimeter. Back to David Diaz, number 10. He's got a lot of pressure from Barney. Pops in and out. Still with the ball, driving through. Over to Durant, number four now. Michael Cortina with the ball. Cortina running through, lays it up, but he misses. But there's the foul. And so taking the shot now will be number four, Michael Cortina, the senior. That's the third team foul for the Cobras. And the score with 21 seconds left in the first half is 22-17 in favor of the Cobras. That is missed, his first three throw right there. He'll have a second opportunity to narrow that score a little bit. Explorers missing, making little small mistakes, but it's hurting them differently. Deeply. Well, we talked about the importance of rebounds, Tito, but free throws are off. also important because it's a little gimme shot, and if you miss that, then that's a huge gift almost that you lose. Absolutely. Michael Cortina now with his second shot. It is up and falls seamlessly through. That is good for a point. Coming into the game now is number zero. George Presley Ham for number two, Jimmy Chavez. In for the Explorers, though, is Cody Figueredo. This is his first game back, but he's been in the game before. And he comes in for number 20, Danny Rico, who'll be getting some rest for the second half. Laham quickly passes it off to Andravius Simmons. Simmons with the easy layup right there, using his height. Yeah, absolutely. You can he tell why he's it. one of the more sought out players in Dade County. A tussle for the ball there. Joey Rodriguez recovering it though, and that is the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen a hard fought first half, but the lead right now in favor of the South Miami Cobras, the score 24 to 18. We'll take you to a quick commercial break. We'll be back with some second half action. It's another great deal right here at Toyota of South Florida. It's a wrap. This week only, it's the Abuela Edition Camry. The Abuela Edition comes with a mojo recipe and a bottle of Big Baparu. And this Abuela for free. Hola. And if you get the Abuela package with GPS, she'll even give you directions. Okay, on second thought, maybe we'll just stick to great deals. Come in this week to Toyota of South Florida in Doral. Great cars, great prices. Y tremenda gente.
Baseball World offers a wide variety of gloves and has one of the largest selections of pants in South Florida. With all your sizes, come check out Baseball World's selection. Baseball World also carries your favorite sports team's hats. We also sell major brand name shoes including Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas. Baseball World is located on 9590 Southwest 40th Street. Or call them at 305-554-7488. Check out Baseball World. Audio Jungle. I'm Mr. Linsky here at Duffy's Tavern, where the elite meet to eat. What I love about Duffy's is you never know who you're going to run into. Hey, on a given my day. Man. Hey, buddy. I love the ambiance, I love the atmosphere, I love the food, but mostly I love the people. Because at any given moment when you walk in this place, half the people here are Columbus alumni. So y'all come back now and answer Wayne and Payne. The Florida Motorcycle Training of North Dade provides an 18-hour basic course designed to teach beginning and novice motorcyclists the physical and mental skills necessary to ride safely on the street. The course teaches basic motorcycle operation, effective braking techniques, turning skills, and obstacle avoidance maneuvers. The course includes 8 hours of classroom instruction and approximately 10 hours of on-cycle instruction. Insurance, motorcycle, helmet, and student workbooks are provided for the course. If you are interested in applying, call 305 63-3444 today. It's another great deal right here at Toyota of South Florida. It's around. This week only, it's the Abuela Edition Camry. The Abuela Edition comes with a mojo recipe and a bottle of Big Spaparoo. And this Abuela for free. Hola! And if you get the Abuela package with GPS, she'll even give you directions. Okay, on second barba. thought, maybe Está we'll just stick gordito. to great deals. Come in this week to Toyota of South Florida in Doral. Great cars, great prices. Y tremenda gente. Baseball World offers a wide variety of gloves and has one of the largest selections of pants in South Florida. With all your sizes, come check out Baseball World's selection. Baseball World also carries your favorite sports team's hats. We also sell major brand name shoes including Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas. Baseball World is located on 9590 Southwest 40th Street. Or call them at 305-554-7488. Check out Baseball World. Audio Jungle. I'm Mr. Linsky here at Duffy's Tavern, where the elite meet to eat. What I love about Duffy's is you never know who you're going to run into hey, on a given my day. Man. Hey, buddy. I love the ambiance, I love the atmosphere, I love the food, but mostly I love the people. Because at any given moment when you walk in this place, half the people here are Columbus alumni. So you all come back now and answer Wayne and Payne. The Florida Motorcycle Training of North Dade provides an 18-hour basic course designed to teach beginning and novice motorcyclists the physical and mental skills necessary to ride safely on the street. The course teaches basic motorcycle operation, effective braking techniques, turning skills, and obstacle avoidance maneuvers. The course includes 8 hours of classroom instruction and approximately 10 hours of on-cycle instruction. Insurance, motorcycle, helmet, and student workbooks are provided for the course. If you are interested in applying, call 305 63 3444 today. 
It's another great deal right here at Toyota of South Florida in Doral. This week only, it's the Abuela Edition Camry. The Abuela Edition comes with a mojo recipe and a bottle of Big Spaparu. And this Abuela for free. Hola. And if you get the Abuela package with GPS, she'll even give you directions. Afeitate esa barba. Okay, on second thought, maybe we'll just stick to great deals. Come in this week to Toyota of South Florida in Doral. Great cars, great prices. Y tremenda gente. Baseball World offers a wide variety of gloves and has one of the largest selections of pants in South Florida. With all your sizes, come check out Baseball World's selection. Baseball World also carries your favorite sports team's hats. We also sell major brand name shoes including Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas. Baseball World is located on 9590 Southwest 40th Street. Or call them at 305-554-7488. Check out Baseball World. Mr. Linsky here at Duffy's Tavern, where the elite meet to eat. What I love about Duffy's is you never know who you're going to run into hey, on a given my day. Man. Hey, buddy. I love the ambiance, I love the atmosphere, I love the food, but mostly I love the people. Because on any given moment when you walk in this place, half the people here are Columbus alumni. So y'all come back now and ask for Wayne and Payne. The Florida Motorcycle Training of North Dade provides an 18-hour basic course designed to teach beginning and novice motorcyclists the physical and mental skills necessary to ride safely on the street. The course teaches basic motorcycle operation, effective braking techniques, turning skills, and obstacle avoidance maneuvers. The course includes 8 hours of classroom instruction and approximately 10 hours of on-cycle instruction. Insurance, motorcycle, helmet, and student workbooks are provided for the course. If you are interested in applying, call 305 63-3444 today. It's another great deal right here at Toyota of South Florida in Doral. This week only, it's the Abuela Edition Camry. The Abuela Edition comes with a mojo recipe and a bottle of Big Spaparu. And this Abuela for free. Hola. And if you get the Abuela package with GPS, she'll even give you directions. Afeitate esa barba. Okay, on second thought, maybe we'll just stick to great deals. Come in this week to Toyota of South Florida in Doral. Great cars, great prices. Y tremenda gente. Baseball World offers a wide variety of gloves and has one of the largest selections of pants in South Florida. With all your sizes, come check out Baseball World's selection. Baseball World also carries your favorite sports team's hats. We also sell major brand name shoes including Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas. Baseball World is located on 9590 Southwest 40th Street. Or call them at 305-554-7488. Check out Baseball World. Welcome back, folks. We've got we so far we've had a great first half of basketball, Tito, haven't we? And then, absolutely no, Mario. It's a close game, close game. Uh, Explorers are only down six, but you can tell that South Miami has been taking advantage of all the turnovers and the size that South Miami has, especially with the center. Uh, Simmons has had a great game so far. Um, I mean, Explorers really have to cut down their turnovers if they want to win this game. So, ladies and gentlemen, this game is definitely worth staying tuned for because we've got a great second half of basketball action now coming for you. 
the score though, it's a relatively low scoring game. The Explorers have only put 18 points up on the board. The Cobras, however, a little better with 24. On the court now, the only former Explorer with the Cobras is number 21, Joseph Lopez, the junior. With the ball now, the Explorers have begun the second half of action here. Johnny Minervino passes the ball off quickly. Number three, Chris Melendez. Melendez to Durant, back to Durant from the hands of Kevin O'Brien. And now Chris Melendez with the ball. Melendez off to Durant for three, misses. Recovered by Antravius Simmons, the big man. Now with the ball is number zero, Jorge perez Lehan. Nice layup there for South Miami. George perez Lehan there doing a good job in getting the score. Melendez off to Rico, Rico to Durant. And Melendez from three point range, he misses the trifecta and it is rebounded by Joseph Lopez. Now Lehan with the ball. Lehan back to Barney, Barney for three, sinks it. And now the score in this game is 32 to 18. Excuse me, 29 to 18. Sheldon Durant missed the shot there and it was once again rebounded by the Cobras. Tito rebounds becoming a huge part of this game. I mean, it's, it's, there's no question about it. You believe the advantage would be with South Miami just because they have the better size and they're actually taller and there's no question that it is going South Miami's way right now. So, um, I mean, I, the Explorers need to find a way to try to get those second chance points off those rebounds. The foul there was against number z zero. Excuse me. The foul there was against number 21, Joseph Lopez. The ball now with Johnny Minervino, number five. Minervino to Melendez. Melendez back over to Minervino, who is in three-point range now, but in no position to shoot the ball. Off to Rico. Rico to Melendez. Melendez with a pick from Rico. Moves around off to Minervino. Minervino back over to Rico. Some great passing action here by the Explorers. And uh, Minervino now. The ball over to Melendez. Melendez going through. Shoots, and it is no good. And rebounded by Antravia Simmons. And Trivia Simmons' size is very useful here for the uh, Cobras. It's been very evident. A dunk there by Simmons, and the Explorers will call a timeout. And with that timeout, ladies and gentlemen, we will take you to a quick word from our sponsors. The score, 31-18 to 18 in favor of the Cobras. Baseball World offers a wide variety of gloves and has one of the largest selections of pants in South Florida. With all your sizes, come check out Baseball World selection. Baseball World also carries your favorite sports team's hats. We also sell major brand name shoes including Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas. Baseball World is located on 9590 Southwest 40th Street. Or call them at 305-554-7488. Check out Baseball World. Welcome back, folks. The score at 31 to 18. It hasn't changed since we went on to the break. There's five minutes and 41 seconds up on the clock. Why do you think they called that timeout, Tito? Well, yeah, there's no doubt they're down by a lot now. They're down by 13. So, you know, the Explorers have to find a game plan to try to start scoring some more points. Maybe the Explorers there were trying to stop the momentum from being in the hands of the uh, Cobras there. you, you got to talk things over to see what else works because whatever they were trying clearly wasn't. And Travia Simmons still in the game. Now Minervino passing it off to Chris Melendez, number three. That ball almost taken away by Simmons. And Cortina there missing the shot. And once again rebounded by the Cobras. Seems to be a trend. Now Perez Leham, zero with the ball. That three point shot missed by John Crated, number 11. Minervino with the ball going through passes it off to Danny Rico Rico driving through he's double teamed though so he quickly gets a pass off to Chris Melendez Melendez though he passed it to no one it was recovered by the Cobras there and 
A quick and easy layup and that widens the score margin a little more. Obviously whatever they were discussing Tito, it didn't work out for them. The same trend has been set. Small, small mistakes with the turnovers. It's really, really hurting Columbus right now. They're digging a deeper hole for themselves by doing that. Absolutely. Momentum, obviously, in favor of the Cobras. And there you have it. That's exactly why. Number four, Ketrick Bartley. Uh, One thing we do have to ball. give up to them, Mario, is that South Miami has a tantalizing defense. I mean, their defense is pretty, pretty powerful. I couldn't agree with you more. The Explorers there catching a break on that call. The offensive foul. And the call there was on number 32 on Travius Simmons. Uh, Mario, if I'm correct, that's the third foul for Simmons uh, early in the third quarter or midway through the third quarter. In fact, uh, you may want to be careful because if the Explorers may get back into this game, they might want to save him for later. Rico now passing the ball. The ball now in the hands of Minervino. Minervino to Melendez. Melendez going through. It hits the feet of Kevin O'Brien and O'Brien gives it off to Daniel Ricondo. Jorge Perez Laham, number zero, with the ball. He goes through, lays it up, but it's no good. The Explorers now mounting the ball, Johnny Vinamino bringing it up. The Explorers are down 15 right now. Vinavito tries to drive, takes it back. Looking for a, some sort of crease, dishes it out to Rico. They bring it back to Minervino to Melendez. Melendez fakes. Melendez drives, tries to get a foul. Oh, gets the foul. Melendez will be at the line now. Obviously, Coach Lorenzo not happy with it with what he's been seeing so far. They've caught a little break again here with Chris Melendez going to the line and actually scoring for the first time. Maybe the Explorers in this half. Almost half the quarter's gone by and they haven't scored at all, Tito. This, this is not the basketball that we've been seeing from the Explorers so far this season. I mean, part of the reason it's happening is because of the turnovers and the defense that South Miami is giving them right now. Now, Kevin O'Brien with the ball and there it is. The first score. So with that, he narrows the score margin a little more, but the lead for the Cobras is still by 13 points. 33-20, Cobras up. With the ball now is number three, Michael Labou. And there, South Miami calling a timeout. So, Tito, even though South Miami called the timeout, that's going to be an opportunity for the Explorers to once again talk things over because clearly the momentum is not in their favor at all. I mean, Camario, the Explorers are down 13 points right now. And, you know, they need to come up with something or else this game might just get out of hand. Absolutely. It's... Right now, they have another quarter of basketball to play, but you can't get let yourself fall down too much. We were watching a game earlier today, and it was an incredible comeback by the JV team, but all throughout that game, even though it was a late game comeback, they didn't fall down by too much because eventually you cross the point of no return. You cross that threshold where you can't come back from that lead. Right now, that's, that's this point for the Explorers. They can't allow points without scoring some of their own. Laham, Perez Laham with the ball and passes it back. Explorers ball, Danny Rico running down the court with it, passes it off. Michael Cortina, Cortina for two, hits the rim and bounces into the hands of Trayvon Barney. Barney, number 23, passes it off to Perez Laham. Perez Laham, zero with the ball. The attempt and the miss there was by Michael Lobu, the, another former explorer. Perez Laham, number zero. Jorge Perez Laham, to be exact. He's a senior, 6'1 point guard. Now the explorers with the ball. Johnny Minervino over to Kevin O'Brien. O'Brien to Danny Rico. Rico, number 20. Looks and passes it off to Chris Melendez. Melendez for three. Almost goes in, but comes back out and is recovered by Daniel Ricondo. The, the Explorers are really struggling from the three-point line right now, Mario. Right now, nothing is working out for them. With the exception of those two points put up earlier, they've scored nothing in this half. And the ha and 
The quarter is about to end. Now, Jorge Perez Laham with the ball, number zero. Backs up a little bit, drives through, passes it off. Travel. And that right there called a travel. So job. another break for the Explorers. Awesome. Now uh, Matthew Sawyer is checking in along with Cody Figueredo. So two fouls uh, for so far in this quarter for the South Miami Cobras and zero for the Explorers. David Diaz in the game now, number 10, the junior. Covered by Michael Labou, another junior who was a former Explorer last year, but he's with South Miami now. He transferred, passed it off to Cody Figueredo, and that off to Michael Cortina, who passes it off to David Diaz. Diaz for three, almost in, but the rebound was by Ricondo. Explorer struggling from the three-point line. Number 11, John Cradit, the senior. Missing that attempt, recovered by Cortina. Cortina, though, drops the ball and it falls onto the ground. Quickly picked up, though, by Kevin O'Brien. O'Brien to number 10, David Diaz. Diaz. Thirty seconds now, winding down quickly on this third quarter of the game. Chris Melendez, number three, with the ball. Melendez, though, gives it up. Another We've got a breakaway game. here. A dunk! That sure did get the South Miami crowd riled up. And a three-point play there. Two, two quick backers for the South Miami Cobras. And now they're starting to get that tempo that they had back before. Started being able to build an, an insurmountable lead here. So within five seconds of each other right there, South Miami getting two incredible scores on two easy breakaways. The Explorers can't be caught on transition like that. Number zero, Jorge perez Leham makes that first three throw and that will widen the lead even more. The lead now, 38 to 20. It's an 18 point lead, three seconds up. David Diaz misses that. And that will end the third quarter of action here. The score 38 to 20 in favor of the South Miami Cobras. We will be back with fourth quarter basketball action from the brother Kevin Court. Stay tuned. It's another great deal right here at Toyota of South Florida. It's a wrap. This week only, it's the Abuela Edition Camry. The Abuela Edition comes with a mojo recipe and a bottle of Big Spaparu. And this Abuela for free. Hola. And if you get the Abuela package with GPS, she'll even give you directions. Afeitate esa barba. Okay, on second thought, maybe we'll just stick to great deals. Come in this week to Toyota of South Florida in Doral. Great cars, great prices. Y tremenda gente. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. This is crunch time for both teams. It's a fourth quarter. What do both teams have to do if they want to win this game? Well, as far as for South Miami, you know, it's hold on to the lead. Don't make any stupid mistakes and just do what they've been doing because it's obviously working. And for the Explorers, they have to find some sort of way to score because as far as I'm concerned, the score is getting bigger and bigger. You heard it from Mike Marinelli there, folks. This Friday night, the Columbus Explorers will be taking on Killian at FIU Stadium in the third round of the playoffs. That is the game to watch. <laughs> All right, the Explorers, I mean, South Miami takes a shot with Antrivia Simmons. Seven forty-five up on the clock. Only fifteen seconds into the quarter, the score is still thirty-eight to twenty. Cobras up. Now with the ball, number eleven for John Cranit. Cranit running in. 
Chris Melendez now. He's got Sheldon Durant in front of him. Durant, though, going out onto the perimeter. There was nothing there. And now Melendez, he's got some tough coverage on him. Rico over to O'Brien. O'Brien up with the layup, and he puts another two points up on the board. He's scored all four points this half of the Explorers. Terrific move by Kevin O'Brien. Great spin move. Not only is Kevin O'Brien the most efficient Explorer scorer right now, but he's the only Explorer scorer in the second half. Absolutely. Obviously, Coach Lorenzo hoping to break up that trend. And that's good. South Miami taking advantage of the high once again with Ansavia Simmons tipping the ball in. Sheldon Durant out on the perimeter, passing it to Johnny Minervino, number five. Back to Durant. Durant. Durant to Rico. Rico gets stuffed. <laughs> Coach Lorenzo obviously not happy with what he's seeing. There's been an offensive stoppage, an absolute stoppage of all scoring from the Explorers. Johnny Minervino will be throwing the ball in now. Kevin O'Brien with the ball, passes it off to Chris Melendez. Melendez for three, and it's good! That's the first Columbus three-pointer in a while. Good, hopefully they can start a streak. Obviously momentum now might shift. That's what the Explorers are hoping. The score now, 25 to 40. Cobra's up. Six minutes and 24 seconds up on the clock. This is a very quick clock so far this game, especially the third quarter went by very quickly. The Explorers don't have much time to work here. Going to the line now is number four, Ketrick Bartley, the junior forward. He's 6-4. Taking his first shot there. It is up and doesn't, and it doesn't go in. It lingered around a little bit on the rim before it finally decided to jump back out. The score stays the same for now. He'll get a second opportunity. The ball is up, and this time it doesn't go in again. There's a whistle blown, though, by one of the referees. Mario, if I'm correct, I think the, the Explorers are called for a uh, lane violation. Uh, someone might have left before the free throw left the shooter's hands. So well, that's, the, that's a little silly mistake right there. It's almost a giveaway, Tito, because now he'll have a, the opportunity to take the shot again. That's just silly. You can't do that if you want to come back. He missed it again, though. And now it'll be Explorer's ball. So the Explorer's there catching a break because he took three shots and he missed them all. So Johnny Manovino with the ball hoping to start something for the Explorers and maybe get momentum in their favor. The Explorers need to get some sort of offensive charge going. Minervino missing the three-point shot there. The ball now with number four. And that's good for two. The score now is 42 to 25. Number three, Chris Melendez. He's got Joseph Lopez on him. Joseph Lopez is no small man. Danny Rico there. South Miami fans aren't too happy about that call. Throwing it in will be Johnny Minervino, number five. Minervino to Rico. Rico covered by Joseph Lopez, a former explorer. Number five, Minervino runs past Simmons. Melendez open for three. Misses it, though. Explorers certainly struggling from the three-point line. They really need to get an offensive spark going, and defense really needs to help out the offense out here. Jorge Perez Laham, he's got Sheldon Durant on him. Durant. He gets beaten, though, by Laham. Laham tries to put up the layup, and it's helped in, though, by number four, Ketrick Bartley. So the Corpus continue out to the scoreline as the clock winds down, and there are five minutes and 15 seconds up on the clock now. The Explorers down by a lot. Kevin O'Brien draws the foul. O'Brien will be able to score another set of points for the Explorers. Kevin O'Brien, without a doubt, the best player right now for the Explorers. He's really been the only hot player and the only not dead cold player. He's scored six points so far. Done a very good job with it. He'll have the opportunity to even add to his resume for this game right now, coming to the line. He'll be taking two shots. Kevin O'Brien now, number 33. Throws it up and misses. 
A lot of free throws missing so far in this fourth quarter. The small mistakes are killing the Explorers with missed free throws, turnovers, and not getting rebounds. Kevin O'Brien now with his second shot, but he makes that one. It goes in seamlessly. Not much a dent though, put in the score line. Still 26 to 44, Explorers down. That call right there. Sheldon Duran doing a good job. Tito, what happened there? Uh, well, it seems like the Explorers drew a foul. Uh, possibly the point guard might have thrown out his arm and Sheldon Durant took the beating for it. But luckily enough, he drew the foul and now it'll be the Explorer ball. Sheldon Durant doing a good job there. And now throwing the ball in will be Chris Melendez. He's got Kevin O'Brien, but he's unfortunately got the big man, Andrew. And that was an easy, easy layup by number five, Johnny Minervino. He was entirely open. Now throwing the ball in will be number 11, John Cradit of South Miami. Cradit now still with the ball. He's got two men on him. Passes it off to Simmons. Simmons over to Barney. Barney off to Laham. Laham for three. Makes it with ease. Explorers can't seem to catch a break here. Trying to throw Minervino. Driving. Dishes to O'Brien. And he dunks it. Almost dunked it, but not really. So if they, if you let them make explosive plays like that, then they will always stay on top of you. Now the lead, 17 points with four and a half minutes left. The score there, Sheldon Durant scoring his first two points of the half. Timeout though, call there. The timeout was from the Explorers, obviously trying to talk a few things and salvage this game. They don't have much time to do it though. Four minutes and exactly one second up on the clock if you want to be precise. 32 to 47 the score, Cobra's up. Welcome back folks, four minutes still up on the clock. The Explorers don't have much time and have a lot of scoring to do if they want to stay in this game. The Cobras have the ball though. And now Aunt Simmons with the ball, passes it back to number 11, John Crated. Crated to number 23, Barney. Joseph Lopez there lays it up and in. The margin of score even wider. Minervino with the ball, driving through. And now Melendez, he's going in. That there, missed. That's another Minervino. miss for the Explorers. Now they are one for 12 from the three point line. Rico throwing the ball in now with Johnny Minervino. There's three minutes and 20 seconds up on the clock, folks. It continues to wind down. And for the Explorers, not slowly enough. Minervino to Duran. Duran in. Kevin O'Brien with the ball. O'Brien misses that first attempt. Melendez for three. Almost goes in, but doesn't. And the ball rebounded there by Joseph Lopez. The Explorers are below 10% and right And there's the ball the rejected by Chris Melendez. Number three jumped him up and met him halfway. Now Sheldon Durant with the ball over to Kevin O'Brien. And then now to Chris Melendez. Chris Melendez with the travel there. Two minutes and 48 seconds now up on the clock. 49 to 32 the score. The Cobra's up. So folks, the score continues to wind down. Now less than three minutes 
left for the Explorers if they want to stay in, but unfortunately for them, they won't. If they continue to let scoring like that, Joseph Lopez scoring two points there. One thing is for certain, my, um, South Miami is not letting up, that's for certain. Joseph Lopez hits the ball out of bounds there, and it'll be Explorers ball. And Travius Simmons still in the game and hanging out under the basket, I wonder why. No scoring there by Johnny Minervino. The rebound though by Sheldon Durant. Durant for two, in and out, the ball. And now number 23 for the Cobras, Trayvon Barney. He's a sophomore, a point guard. Sheldon Durant though gets a the ball there and that ball taken almost out of the air by Jorge Perez Laham and then and Travius Simmons trying to score there but the referee almost an insurmountable broke it lead Mario looks like Explorers are going to take the L here and also the Explorers will be having a full team substitution uh, now putting in the reserves Coming in will be Victor Gutierrez, Cody Figueredo, Joey Rodriguez. And with that, the starters for the Explorers come out of the game as it seems almost out of reach, Tito. Two minutes and three seconds up on the clock now and a very wide score margin with Antravia Simmons at the line shooting two. And Travia Simmons, that ball in. And Simmons with that comes out of the game, into the game though for him is number four, Kedrick Bartley. Cody Figueredo will be throwing it in. He's played before and this is his first game back off the injury. Victor Gutierrez, the junior now, number 13 with the ball. Joey Rodriguez with it also. And now, that shot missed there. Joey Rodriguez fouled. Explorer is definitely not getting the benefit of the doubt with the calls here. There's no question about that. Throwing it in now will be number three. The former Explorer Michael LeBou covering him though was Daniel Halfaker, a friend of his. So uh, Tito, this game right here, what do you think this means for the Explorers? Tito. What do you think this means for the Explorers going forward? Uh, well, one thing is for certain, when it comes to bigger teams in terms of size, they're going to need to find a way, a strategy around them. Because one, we can one thing guarantee, these teams will meet again. Minute and 24 now up on the clock. The score, 52 to 32, Explorers down. Figueredo to Gutierrez, Gutierrez from the perimeter. Driving through, but he gets nothing there. Another breakaway in favor of the Cobras. An easy layup. An even wider score margin. What do you think the Explorers have to do coming into their next game to recover from this loss? And I know that they haven't had Marquise Clark, but obviously this won't help their confidence going into it. Well, obviously they're going to Explorers are going to have to forget about this loss quickly because South Miami is a very talented team. But hopefully just focus on things like rebounding and turnovers because that was one of the key things going into this game. And South Miami took, it very, uh, took very much advantage of rebounds. Rebounding a huge part of this game here. Perhaps it was because the Explorers were outsized so far with Antravia Simmons. So 36 seconds up on the clock. We remind you, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't make it to the game at FIU on Friday, we hope that you tune into our broadcast brought to you by CCN and Live and the five folks that are sponsors at Total Bank. The broadcast will be at approximately 7 o'clock on Friday evening from FIU Stadium. The game will be between the Columbus Explorers and the Killian Cougars in a rematch of the late season game that was an upset victory from the Killian Cougars and it is expected to be a great one. It's a third round playoff action for the Explorers and the Killian Cougars that'll be at seven o'clock on Friday night. We hope you can watch and tune in right here on your Explorer Sports Network. 15 seconds still up on the clock in this game as the clock winds down onto the final seconds of this match. Looks like the Explorers are gonna continue to try here with Victor Gutierrez driving, trying to go up. 
And he comes up short. And now Michael Labou there does nothing and that will be the game. The Explorers lose and in an almost embarrassing fashion, the score 32 to 54. The South Miami Cobras win it and win it well. The Explorers have a lot to think over until their next game. And so folks from Brother Kevin Court here at the Christopher Columbus High School campus in Westchester, Florida. I'm Mario Perez along with my partner Tito Benach. We're signing off. We hope to, that you can tune in on Friday for the football game. Have a good evening, folks. <laughs>